Hi, in this video we're going to have a very short look at some basic drawing skills in Google Slides. So here I am, I've got a Google Slides presentation and it's got nothing in it, it's, it's blank, it's just got this sort of basic screen. So first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this. So I can just click, drag around both the boxes and with them both selected I can press the backspace key on the keyboard, it's like the delete key, and they go away. So now we have a nice clean uh, page to do our drawings on. So I'm just going to show you some really basic drawing skills for this video. Uh, how to do a box, a circle, a freehand shape, and then uh, that means a shape where you can just scribble wherever you like, uh, and then how to change the colour of the line, how to change the fill colour, how to change um, also the transparency of the fill, which can be quite nice to do some sort of layered effects. So uh, let's start off with the easiest one. Let's just do a box. So up here, we've got some controls. This is for adding text. This is for adding uh, a pre-made picture, so maybe one from the internet or one that you've scanned in or created somewhere else or a photograph you've taken with your camera. So something like that. Uh, here is where we get our shapes. Um, and here is where we can get some sort of lines. But for now, we just want to grab a shape and we're going to go to the most basic shape, which is a box. Now look, notice here, we've got lots of different shapes you could choose. And, you know, you can be quite clever and combine them uh, in creative ways to create different sorts of shapes. Um, we've also got some different arrows, which might be useful for pointing to things, uh, some different stars, some different math symbols, probably not going to need those. But to do a box, we just simply select the box shape and we click and we drag and we let go and we have a box. It's as simple as that. Now let's say I wanted to draw a circle. I can go to the shapes and I can select a circle shape and I might draw it over here so it overlaps the box a bit and there's a circle and notice they're separate. I can click on the box and drag and move it. I can click on the circle and move it. Uh, once I've created it I can resize it using these controls uh, at the side and I can resize it um, sort of make it sort of fatter or taller, or if I hold down the shift key while I resize it, it maintains the proportions. So it means I get to sort of still have a, a nice circle rather than an oval shape. Um, so let's put those over here out of the way and let's show you how to make a, uh, a shape of your own sort of design. So if you go to this line box and go to a, well, there's a few different ways of doing it. Um, a scribble is the simplest way and you literally can just scribble around and it will create um, a shape made of that scribble. Very, very simple. Uh, but you can't fill that in. Notice it doesn't have a grey fill-in like the uh, rectangle and the circle does. Uh, however, we can choose this thing, a polyline, which we can then click and as I've, once I've clicked, if I move the mouse, it sort of extends a line to my mouse. I can click again and I can keep clicking. So this is quite useful if you want to you make quite un, un, uh, unconventional shapes like this funny sort of arrow shape I'm making. And as long as you sort of join um, your last bit up to where you started um, and then click, it will allow you to fill that shape in much like the square uh, or the rectangle and the circle that I did earlier. So that's sort of quite an interesting sort of freehand shape. And there's one that takes a little bit more practice called the curve and this is where you can click and click again but drag while you're clicking and it gives you a sort of a curved shape. It does take a little bit of getting used to uh, but lets you do sort of different variants um, on a circle I suppose. Um, so that's how you draw your basic shapes. Now let's just look quickly at how we change the line colour and thickness. So if I select um, I'm going to get rid of this one actually. Select it, press backspace to get rid of it. I'm going to move my circle over here. Now let's say I wanted to make it uh, a really thick red line. I can click on it and over here I've got my uh, line controls and line colour is this one. It looks like a, a pen. If I click on that I can choose all these different colours or I can go to custom and choose any colour I like using these sliders. It gives me different control. So I'm going to give this, sort of, this sort of red colour here select that. Notice it's now gone red. And if I want to make it nice and thick, uh, this 
is our thickness control and here is one pixel, two pixels, three pixels and it gets progressively thicker up to 24 pixels. I'm going to choose four pixels which is nice and strong and let's say we want to change the inside color from gray, the fill color, this is our fill color control and I'm going to just choose a sort of yellow color there we go. So now I've got a, a yellow circle with a red outline which I'm going to make a bit smaller and put out the way. Uh, I might do the same with my square. I'm going to make a blue uh, outline so I select blue and nice and thick and maybe I might just make that like a light blue on the inside. Okay, so that's how you draw uh, basic shapes, how you can change the, uh, the line color and the line thickness and the fill color. Now there's one thing I said I would show you and that's transparency. So I'm going to overlap my circle over my rectangle. Okay, and you can't see the bit of the rectangle that is behind the circle. But if we click on the circle, go to fill color, go to custom, uh, notice there's this little control here on the side. Now this is where you can set how transparent it is. If I put it about halfway, press OK, you can now see the sort of the, uh, the rectangle that's behind the circle. You can see it through the circle. So that's quite useful if you're making maybe uh, you want to draw attention to something in a diagram. Uh, you might want to put a shape over it that is transparent. So it doesn't, get, it doesn't stop you seeing the diagram but sort of draws attention to it. Okay, and there's one other thing I want to do, and that's just talk about ordering. And this is how, at the moment, I've got my funny arrow shape in front of my rectangle. But if I wanted to put it behind it, um, I can right-click on it, go to Order, and Send to Back. And now it's behind the rectangle, so I can move it around, and it's hidden by the rectangle. If I put it behind our... Um, circle, I should see it because the circle is of course transparent. Uh, and again I can click on it and I can bring it to the front and now it will be in front of the others. Okay, so there's lots of little different techniques for you to try. So now um, what I suggest you do is try to use those various skills of drawing squares, uh, rectangles, circles and combining them to produce some interesting uh, shapes as practice and you should have a worksheet of different things that you can try drawing um, in order to practice this.